você. Hey everyone, it's Cinema Lovers Incorporated back at you again with another video. Oh Disney, we love you, we all love you, but you continue to push out sequels, remakes, all of that crap. And most of the time, the sequel or remake is not as good as the original. So, you know, for me, uh, I was very, very worried about this movie. The trailers, no offense, they were a bit... Crap! 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 Yeah, they were a bit crap. <laughs> um, but thankfully, I did go to the film. I said, you know what? Screw the trailers. I want to see this movie for myself and my eyes. Wreck-It Ralph 2, Ralph Breaks the Internet. It's been a very long time since the original. I was a pretty big fan of the first movie. Not a big, big fan, but I thoroughly enjoyed it. I thought the characters were really cool. Uh, the action was freaking awesome. Uh, the whole idea, the whole premise of us exploring characters inside of arcade games was freaking, freaking huge because this, this just hasn't been done before. I think it was really awesome. You have Ralph in the original movie, you have Penelope in the original movie, and these two characters originally, they don't know about each other, but they start to discover that, you know, they both have issues, so they band together to fix these issues. And this movie, Ralph is still very cleaning. He, um, he doesn't believe in himself. He doesn't really see himself as this, this big character that he was, you know, presented. You know, at the end of the first movie, he kind of overcame what he was, but not to the full extent. In this movie, he has to completely, um, just get rid of his cleaniness, his, his, uh, his horrible, just, anxiety. And that's really the, the big premise of this movie, is Ralph trying to overcome those obstacles as well as form a very good bond with Vanellope, this child um, character. And the, these two characters go on another big adventure when the internet is introduced. Now, personally, I think the internet premise, the whole idea of the internet, the whole setting, the eventual setting that we get to in the movie, the internet setting as a whole is okay but what i enjoy from this movie i enjoy the characters i think most of the comedy is top notch goes a little bit overboard sometimes because of these um these these um just these these comedy ugh, so stupid um, pop culture jokes these pop culture jokes that they have in, uh, for these YouTube videos, you know, they have blah, 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 and they, they're doing all these pop culture references. Not a lot of people are going to get them because not everyone watches the internet. Um, but you can say the same about the first movie. Not everyone plays video games. Um, so, yeah. But this movie, what I really enjoyed was... Wreck-It Ralph! Yeah, that was weird. <laughs> yep. But really, the, the premise is, you know, Ralph, he starts becoming this cleaning person. He wants to become big on the internet when Vanellope, she is, she, she met this new game. She's, she really wants, she wants something more exciting in her life. She wants something bigger. She doesn't want to just sit in her game the rest of her life. She found this new game. It's really gritty. It's dark. And she really adores it. Ralph, on the other hand, doesn't really enjoy this idea. They fight, they argue, and what I really enjoy, uh, what I really enjoy is that there's no villain in this film. Ralph, his insecurity, that is the villain. There is no big, overblown, crazy villain in this movie. I think it's, it's, it's a breath of fresh air. It's refreshing that Ralph, his insecurities, those insecurities built up in him, that is the villain of the film, and that's really what I enjoy about Wreck-It Wreck Ralph 2! Um, cons. Like I said, the internet setting, little iffy. It's okay. I think it's okay. Not as good as the arcade setting. Not horrible. It's just, meh. Uh, I don't like how they gave Fixer Felix Jr. this background arc in this film. He's put in the background watching these kids with his wife, and they're not really, you know, touched upon. It's, it's not explored to its full potential, and that was disappointing because Felix was 
not the best character in the original movie, but he had more to do. And this movie comes off, and this movie comes off as some annoying background background character. When in the first movie, he had more uh, to do. He had more fleshing out to do. And that is why I think Wreck-It Ralph one still is a better film. But Ralph breaks breaks the internet is not an awful movie. I think you're gonna have a lot of fun with it. Everyone in your family will have a lot of fun of fun with it. I really enjoyed the twist where there's no villain. Ralph is kind of the villain and he has to set things right. I thought that was a breath of fresh air. The action was great. The music was great. The Disney references like the princess part was fantastic. Even though a little dumb in some parts, you know, it carried on a little bit, but it's a Disney movie. What are you going to do? Um, <laughs> I love Disney, by the way. I love freaking Disney. So what am I going to give Ralph Breaks the internet? I give it a thumbs up. I recommend it. Not the best movie, not the worst movie. It's a pretty darn good film, and I, I was really surprised with it. I thought it was going to be trash because of the trailers. The trailers were hot garbage. This movie, however, was pretty good. Not as good as the first, but I still enjoy the film. It, it, it's good. It's a good sequel. I think they did a really, really good job, and I'm going to give it a thumbs up. So I hope you enjoyed my review. Leave a like, comment, and Comment down below. <laughs> Did I do it this time? Yeah. And, um, subscribe! And I'll see you in the next video. Bye, everyone. Ooh, I'm dizzy. <laughs> Bye, everyone.